Hey everyone, welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 as the Beesburys um, here in the Game of Thrones universe. And I have decided that um, we obviously always need um, kind of a roleplay reason to build things, I think. And um, it makes a lot of sense to actually build up um, the defensive of Old Town because we have, I think, twice now, twice since uh, Old Town was uh, under our control, um, we had to fight off Ironborn Raiders. And I think it only makes sense if we build petrol posts which will increase garrison size and will give us 50 extra infant. well, yeah, well, in total 100, but the new upgrade will only give us 50 extra heavy infantry. Um, so I think that makes a lot of sense. We're going to build guard stations, actually. So let's do that. It costs quite a lot of money, but I think it's more um, justified by roleplay reasons if we build this instead of a castle town. Um, I think ca building castle town Honeyhold kind of made sense, but uh, yeah. Oh, and look at this. My lord, I have been instructing young Walter in the ways of sword and lance as requested. I am pleased to say he appears to be a natural. His martial prowess has improved greatly. So, so, our son Walter, eight years old, he is already a trained fighter and we can force to train him. Although, does not have to trade Craven. Uh, that's unfortunate. Otherwise, we would have been able to train him. So, if he loses that, that would be cool. But it's unfortunately probably not going to be the case. So two more years, once he's 10, we're going to uh, take control of him ourselves. And he's actually, okay, so he's gaining, he's responding well to his situation now, so he's gained two learning. That's pretty good. 10 learning is actually quite useful. All right. Um, I know I was talking about something else, but anyway, so I think building the God Station is probably the best we can do. Um, we only, we still have the Carpenter's Guild for a little bit and we have a trade route as well that's actually very useful a stone quarry oh that's why things are so cheap how long is the stone quarry gonna last another are you so wow it's another six years that's pretty good so that's actually that might be something yeah okay so now we just lost the carpenters guild but yeah the stone quarry look at that a stone quarry in this province produces a surplus of cheap building materials, so we should definitely uh, use that to uh, improve Old Town as much as we can. And a trade route obviously gives us extra income as well. Awesome. I think we're, yeah, make, we're making more than 8 ducats right now, so that's, that's probably pretty good. Yeah, we should not complain about this too much. And my wife does not seem to, very, to be but does not, doesn't seem very content at the moment. She wants more clothes, better shoes, and fine dresses. My wife um, is a very selfish person um, and also quite a glutton. She's not entirely um, greedy, but somewhat, I guess. My dear, I can't refuse you anything. Um, well, I'm personally humble and content. Mm, I, I am that myself, but that doesn't mean my wife is. Um, how much do I like my wife? Um, my opinion of Elise is not very high, actually. I don't really like my wife that much. Um, so, you know what? If you want clothes, make them yourself. <laughs> I think that's probably something... It's somewhat of a cruel thing to say, but... I, I think since we don't like our wife that much, our opinion is negative four. She's our treasure and all, but... No, she... We don't like her that much. She's very selfish. We don't like that about her. And obviously being a craven doesn't help. We are a craven ourselves, but still. It doesn't make it better that others are cravens. Yeah. So, it seems like Walter is turning out rather okay. I mean, despite being craven and arbitrary. Um, but yeah. He might, he might actually be a cool dude. We'll see. Um, we still have not gotten a claim here on the High Lordship. Sadly, this guy's content. He's a craven. So many cravens in the world. Um, now we had the same problem. Lamour. Well, okay, so our first daughter punched a cook's kid, and now our second daughter did the same thing. Um, last time we beat our daughter, and it didn't really work. So should we? Should we say that we approve? Well, we don't actually approve. I don't think we approve of this. Um, but we're not gonna pray, are we? I don't know. You know what? I think we're gonna beat her again. We can't keep beating our kids. 
Although, I mean, the first daughter was strong when we beat her. Um, so we knew she was probably going to survive this, but uh, beating our daughters, it's just not, it's not really a good thing to do. But I think being rough, that's, that's what we, that's what we would do. Although we are socially competent, it says, and socially competent does not mean beating your kids. Um, you know what, I think we, we're going to pray for soul, even though we're not, um, religious in any way, necessarily. Um, we've beat our kid the second time. I don't think we approve of this, although we are wrath ourselves. Um, do we approve? Technically, I would say no, because we're a good ruler, but... You know what? No, actually, yeah. We, I guess we just approve of this. I don't know. I feel like we wouldn't, but... Alright, let's just do that. I think we, we rather approve than pray for, for, the, for the soul. I think we just say, alright, fine. You have spirit. It's just kids that fight, you know? Let them do it. Let them have their little shenanigans. And uh, we can hold a tournament here in Honeyhold. Um, yes, we could. Um, in fact, there's a war. King Damien the Monstrous Test declared King Damien's conquest of the Stoneway. What? Didn't you just... Wait, what? Did you not just declare war on Dawn in order for this guy to, to get the Stoneway? Now you're declaring war on him. What? That makes no sense. But fine, do what you, do what you want to do. It appears like um, Lord Paramount Colin Massey is not interested in the fighting. I can totally understand. Um, so yeah, do we want to hold a tournament? We might actually want to do that because we are gregarious. Um, and we are a war-focused guy. So yeah, we should probably hold a tournament. Perhaps we want to wait until we have 100 gold. Um, and, oh, what's this? Princess Pass? Seems to be... Under the command of the Reach, okay, and the West Marches are just independent. Hmm. For whatever reason. Okay, and the war is already over. Yeah, whatever. So I think, yeah, we're just gonna hold the tournament now. In honors of. Who? How old is our son? When is he born? In May, 13th of May. Okay. And. Lady Elise seeks to kill. Whoa, 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 whoa. My wife. My wife seeks to kill my uncle. Holy balls. Wow. Is that simple? Because I didn't give her a shit, she's in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is. Hmm. I think it really was a. It, it, what? Why? Why do we marry this Dornish girl? This is. We shouldn't have never have done that. Everyone, you know, said, what, how could we marry a Dornish man or a Dornish woman? And yeah, we shouldn't have done it. She's only coming here to kill to kill our family. All right, well, we could make her end the plot, but you know what? She does not dare to refuse, but we cannot have her as our, as our treasurer anymore. She's the best, but you know what? She wants to become regent. We can't have that. We're going to have to make this, this lady our treasurer now. Because he, he wants to become Castellan. Yeah, we can't have that. You're going to be removed. You have... Yeah, yeah, you have betrayed my trust, my dear wife. Um, she likes us less now, but that, you know, it's just the way it is. We can imprison her. Although... No, we already said... We're not going to imprison her immediately, I think. Although we are wroth. I think we would have done that, but... I think we're only we're only waiting here because she is the mother of three of our lovely kids. Um, at least that's what we think. Yeah, she doesn't have a lover. So, yes, we're not gonna imprison her immediately. But if she ever does anything again, we're gonna do it. Next time you do something wrong, Lady Elise, you will be imprisoned, and we're gonna find a new wife. That's simply the way it is. But um, despite all of this turmoil, we're gonna hold a tournament in Honeyhold now, um, so there we go. And we probably just want to hold... 
Uh, knights and lords residing near Honeyhold. Yes, we're gonna mostly just invite our family. We're gonna invite our uh, Lord Benfred, who, whose heir is my cousin, and our aunt might come. Then we have our nephew ruling. Well, he's probably too young to come, but he can attend if he wants to. Um, Barrowlands. Oh, House Talhard is now ruling of the Barrowlands. Oh, and the Rails as well. Interesting. Um, then we could have our brother, Branston, to come. We could have uh, maybe Lord Desmond, Bulver of Black Crown, even though he's a weak guy. And then, uh, you know, the two Beesbury branches that we have in the Uplands. And then, obviously, also Lord... Yeah, this is the time. Lord Mervyn, a kinsman of 3000. He now finally wind up, find, found a wife. House Ambrose. Interesting. The first day jousting is complete. Fine jousters. Yes. I don't want to watch. Although, actually, I do want to watch every tilt because it is my tournament after all. Lord Luther Voltron declared Lord Luther's blood feud against Lord Aerys Breitwater. Oh, I see. So. This guy has a claim on Black, Black Crown. Okay, so, our Lord is at war again, even though he is content. He says a blood, a blood feud is what uh, caused this war. So let's show the blood feuds. Um, so, House, yeah, this House of the Frostfangs is still in a blood feud with uh, the Beesburys. And look at who else is in a blood feud. We have House Chelstead and Greyjoy. Okay. Chelstead is under our command, I think. House Tullard and Lindley. House Carnet and Chambers. House Bronston and Blackwood. House Forrest and Whitehill. House Lees and... S and It doesn't say anything about... It doesn't say anything about House Hightower and House Florent. So, what are you talking about? Now, unfortunately... These two Beesbury branches, the Uplands. Um, Sir Brian is winner. Okay. He won against Unwin. Unwin! Unwin Bulva did not win. Well, that's not a big surprise. Ares Florent, um, who, we are, who we are at war with, um, against Sir Rickett. He won against Rickett Waltkin. Okay. That's actually pretty good because Rickett, I remember, is a formidable fighter. My bodyguard. Um, Arden Guy, um, whose family is ruling in Sunhouse, I think, yes, um, against Rhaegal. And so Arden actually unhorsed my Dragon Rider commander, okay. And then we have Anselm Oldflowers and John Oldflowers, okay, my cousin. Two of my cousins have jousted, and Anselm actually won, okay. I actually rather have the other guy win, but, uh, Maribel Beesbury and Sir Osbud. Maribel Beesbury and Osbud, the Castellan of Brightwater Keep. And Sir Maribel won. Okay, Beesbury actually, that's pretty good. Who has a claim on Ocean Road. And then we have Garrett Bigglestone against Mellors Beesbury. And our Lord Commander, or yeah, Commander of the uh, City Watch of Old Town has won. And he's also our cupbearer at Mars at Arms. Benfred. Blackhold against Desmond and he won okay and then we have Jeremy Cuey and Leo Hightower who is going to be the heir of the High Lordship of Old Town and Jeremy of Sunhouse and Lord Jeremy has won cool quite an interesting tournament now I think that uh, Frederick and House Florent okay the Lord of Florence is still jousting. <laughs> so while we have... Okay, actually, the war has ended. What? Yeah, it's ended inconclusively. Okay, so that's good. So he was actually just jousting in Honeyhold, and somehow our Lord got pissed off, but everything is fine now. Arden Kui and Lord Jeremy Kui were next to joust. Okay. And Arden has won. The homosexual eunuch. Who's fashionable? And Brian and Sir Branston, uh, Benfred, and Brian has won. Commander Jared has won against Anslem Oldflowers. Okay, well he's our commander, so it's, it'll probably be quite good if he wins. Uh, Frederick 
and Arden has one. Arden Kui seems to be doing quite well. And then we have Brian and Maribel Beesbury, but Maribel Be- Okay, so we still have a Beesbury, one of our kinsmen, in this tournament. Okay, he might win. We'll see. Um, Arden Kui and Gab Arden Kui has won against our commander. Ah. So I think it's our- Okay, so we have Arden Kui and Sir Mar Maribel Beesbury. And, and Sir Maribel was on horse, no, so, uh... He actually was second place. Okay, Maribel made the second place, but that's good. He at least got 15 gold. That's good for him. Um, and so Arden Kui is now the winner. The fashionable eunuch who's homosexual and only a poor fighter. Wow. But he won, so that's good for him. Alright. So yeah, that was that tournament. Fine. It's over. It was a glorious event. And we gained a little bit of prestige, but only... Only 11. It's really not that much. And now, you want to make us commander, and I don't want to. I'm not interested. Did I just click away the claims? Maybe that was the case. A lot of uh, raiders over here, outside of our ports. We have not yet built the, uh, the guard stations. And Lord Rui Beesbury, he invited you to... Tourney of Dunstanbury. Okay, um, I think we're gonna accept that. We are no longer wounded, so yeah, there's no there's no reason not to. Alright. So we're off to a tournament. Hopefully we can win. We have not yet won. We have a small tournament third place and a regional tournament second place. Lord Eddard of White Harbor, Eddard Flint, has taken Whitefoot. Has usurped the title. Why are all of these people blinded? His wife is blinded. Mandalay. Then two Flint daughters are blinded. No, I don't want to be your chief general. I've told you several times now. Don't want to do this for you. After arriving in Dunstanbury, the first day of the tourney began in earnest. Okay. And we have apparently made it into the list. Now we're fighting... Rhaegar Quelbar. Wow! A West Valyrian formidable fighter. Jesus. In our first round? Okay. I hope we can win, but we'll see. And obviously, we have not. We have been unhorsed in our first time. Why do we have to fight a formidable fight in the first round? Gee. Alright, well, we lost prestige for that. That's very unfortunate. But, um, I think what really, uh, does not help is being a craven. And Sir Samuel Orm, you know what? I don't care about the tournament anymore. I I want to ha hide my shame. The dragon Esobel has built a lair in Old Town after escaping from Rendell. Okay, from Celsus Company. Something must be done about it. Well, s as long as we're a craven, I don't really think that we can do anything against dragons. And um, our son Walter. Is almost 10 years old. Buford Chester and Edward Charles, uh, Edward Ashford. Oh, look at that guy. Strong and skilled fighter. Can we invite him to court? Yes, we can. Um, let's keep an eye on him. If he wins this tournament, um, we actually might invite him to join our court because we always need good fighters, right? He's a pretty good commander. Actually, he's only incompetent and he's just been wounded. Um, so, yeah, third before he was just unhorsed, Gerald of Holy Hall has actually won. Uh, but he does not want to come to our court. Maybe we want to invite before Chester, who has a climb on, claim on Golden Grove in North Marge. He's been second place. You know what? Actually, yeah, let's invite this guy. Um, we can use him. He's a diligent man. He's a little bit greedy, but he's gregarious, brave, um... So yeah, that's very good. I think we just gained a little bit of prestige for this. Maybe we didn't, I don't exactly know. But if this guy arrives, we might actually, since he's a brave man, um, and he brought his wife Marjorie with him, um, we have just finished building guard stations in the high tower, and Ronald of Ronald's host, Ronald Hill, a liberator, um, who has 26,000 men at his back, he has attacked 
the uh, the Iron Throne. But yeah, you don't you don't have any support, do you? Actually, you do have support from the Westerlands. Interesting. How's Bane for the supporting you? Hmm. But you know what? You're still not gonna win against the Veil, the Westerlands, and obviously Stormlands, Half of Dawn, the Riverlands. I don't know what the North is doing. Lord Palant, Elric, Stark. It's just chilling. Okay, well, um, we have built the guard stations here, that's quite useful. But there was something else I wanted to do. Um, you're nine years old, you're gregarious now. My friend is educating you. You know what, I want to give you to a brave man, because you are craven. Not sure if he can turn you around, but perhaps, um, perhaps he can. So I'm gonna give you to a new guy. Educate your... Educate him. You'll be educated by... That brave dude who has... Has he arrived at my court yet? He has, actually. Um, could have Garrus Blackman. He's a captain of a house of God after all, but... Probably not gonna do that. Rickett could do it. Um, there's so many good people. Like Ontario Lefford. But we're gonna give it to... Yeah. Buford Chester. Uh, because he's brave. He's wounded, but I think he can do it anyway. So there you go. Um, now, Rakel's a little bit pissed, but he's our friend, so he will understand. Um, not a big deal. So hopefully, you will become brave. I wish. I really wish so. Um, but we'll see. My ward Layla is inquisitive and asks so many questions, it is hard to answer them all. I try my best for every answer I give. Layla seems to like me even more. Okay, so me and my daughter become close friends. That's very nice. Still have Samuel Blackband as our rival. Whoa, what? The Siege of Old Town? Oh my god! We have raiders here. I did not even notice that. But those are too many. Luckily, the Reach is actually helping us. Um, so, the Lord Paramount, Colon, is very luckily sending his 8,000 men to deal with these guys. We have... something has been sieged. I... oh yeah, look at that. I think they've sieged our fort, is that po Yeah, they've destroyed the fort, I think. Can you please arrive? He did, actually. Wow, they've sacked so they've looted so much money, that's ridiculous. Leda is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward daughter? Um, how about a pat on the head? It's the strap. You know what? It's the strap. I'm wroth. It's the strap for her. Yep. Okay, so our little paramount has actually defended us. Where our liege could not. So I'm happy about that. How much money are we making now? Yeah, way less because Old Town has been looted. Look at that. Yeah, we lost half of our taxes because it's a looted province. And uh, now winter is coming to an end. Well, that is... Wait, what? Do we even have winter? I think we didn't even notice about this. But our mother has now died of a period of illness. That is so unfortunate. So we now need a new spy master. We could pick a wife, but it's probably not the best. So we're going to pick... Our vassal, Master Egon of Honeybridge, he wants to become Spy Master. So yeah, he's gonna do a great job and we're gonna make him scheme in Honeyhold. So he should like us actually for uh, fulfilling his, his ambition. Yep. The daughter was born to Aldas, Aldasi Lefford and Septon Hector. Our Septon? Really? Hmm. She is... She's loving that guy. Wait. My daughter? Oh, she's rival to my daughter. Interesting. And Riel, Princess Riel of Honeyhold. Whoa, why is she... She is a princess. Princess Riel, 12 years old, attractive, trained fighter. You know what? I think this would be the perfect match for Walter Beesbury, and here's, here's, here's why. First of all, she's a princess, and she's in our court, so she's probably going to say yes. And, well, she is attractive, so actually we're going to, yeah, we're going to arrange that uh, patrol right here. Um, princess Riel, yes, 
definitely. We're gonna have to go for this. She's High Valyrian, she's of, she has royal blood, and she's attractive, she's only three years older, she's diligent, patient, content lady, temperate, yep. Definitely send this. Um, she would actually lose quite a lot of prestige for this, but she will accept because she's at court. So yeah, that would actually make a lot of sense. The Beesburys will uh, have royal blood afterwards. Awesome. I like that. I like it a lot. Okay, we're, wow. We're back to making a little bit of cash, but ouch. Yeah, we just lost half of our... So, Old Town is kind of... I don't know. Honeyhold seems to be a safer location. Um, a more steadier income, so... Now we get high taxes in Honeyhold. Well, great. Uh, news from Sunspear. A new dragon has entered the world. Reyna Targaryen. Um... She's now hatched Sobrogul. Okay, I guess good for her. And she's attractive as well. A lot of attractive Targaryen and Valyrians. But yeah, so we're actually gonna have to... Um, I don't know if I need this guy as an important character right now. His rival is the Lord of Smallwood. Um, however, what we need to do is... Actually, no, he is the guardian of my son, so he's kind of important. But yeah. Princess Rael is also important. Look at that. She has a claim on the Iron Throne and on the Riverlands. King's Landing. Oh, nice. But I think it really makes sense. Roleplay perspective. If you would have a princess at your court, wouldn't you also try to marry her? Yes, you would. She's been educated by a lunatic. Uh, perhaps we want to change that. Um, educate her by... Hmm. Darion... Tully, Garrus Blackmont, uh, Simon Leffitt, Rickard. Mm. Well, I guess we're gonna do that. Yes, yeah, we're actually gonna do that ourselves. Yep, we're gonna educate. Uh, if we don't educate our own son, we're at least gonna educate his wife. There you go, Princess Riel. Wow, she's a lovely girl. Lovely girl. She does unfortunately not have any formal education, so she's not going to be the most powerful, but her claim is just the best. And, well, she's at our court, so there you go. And your Septon um, has appeased the peasants, which is quite useful. So they're not mad at us anymore. Um, it seems as though we have to, yeah, build militia training grounds here. Um... Is there nothing we can do to uh, get more fort level? Catapults. Has modest estates. Okay, so we can get catapults or siege tunnels. I think we're going to have to do this. We're going to have to improve our fort level here. Um, Elena. You, the wife of my uncle. Oh, and he actually has got a son who's now heir to the city of Farheev. I see. Um, and he's dishonorable himself. You want to kill Mervyn of Three Towers. Interesting news. But we're going to start building modest estates in the High Tower first. And then we can build siege tunnels. And hopefully that's going to increase our fort level. Yes. Plus one. We need that. Okay, so let's actually check out Olena. Um, and Estalia is backing your plot. You want to kill... Him because then my uncle would inherit. You know what? I not I don't want that. Stop your plot. Stop your plot. I am not gonna have that. I won't have that. Don't kill my family members. The only one who's allowed to do that is me. Nobody else. And I will only do it for the good of the family, obviously. So unfortunately though, we have not been quite lucky, or we have been quite unlucky to uh get a uh, claim on the High Lordship of Old Town and this guy is apparently has a sympathy for Valyrian faith and he has a high he has a Valyrian steel sword I want that Juramon of Winterkeep has declared a peasant's revolt that's fine peasants are not gonna really do anything we have a king beyond the wall we actually do um King Harith Shieldbreaker a genius skilled fighter Okay, and your son has caught grayscale. No! No way. No way. 
Your son Walter has caught grayscale. Oh my god. Well, and then this very tragic note, we're gonna have to end this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that uh, I'll see you next time, and please pray that Lord Walter, or my son Walter, will not die. Anyways, I'll see you then. Shiftranka, signing off.